More than a week since Hurricane Matthew swept through our area, Governor Rick Scott will visit St. Augustine tomorrow in an effort to promote tourism. Many people are still without the help they need to get their lives back in order. One Green Cove Springs woman had her home nearly split by a tree. Although she had insurance, she won't be covered because of a miscommunication. Channel 4's Heather Lee joins us live. Now, Heather, do we know what that miscommunication was? Yeah, she says that she actually got a new credit card in the mail. And so because her insurance company takes the monthly payments from her credit card, not her account, she missed a payment and she didn't realize that. So, of course, she has been fighting with them because they say they will not cover her. But in the meantime, she just doesn't even know where to begin. I try to smile every day, but it's like, you know, what do you do? Dayana Hairston couldn't believe her eyes. The home she bought just last April, devastated by Hurricane Matthew. She rode the storm out with her parents, but got the call about her home from the Clay County Sheriff's Office last Saturday. There's no way to get in without either getting clobbered by the tree or the tree just continues splitting the house in half. She can't get her clothes, and the things that mean the most to her are crushed under the weight of this giant tree. Harrison says when she called her insurance company, they told her she was no longer covered because of a missed payment. She got a new credit card in the mail and never received notice of a missed payment, but she says the company isn't budging. So now, even though you have my banking information, you know that I have a new card. I only missed a month. It's only $45 for homeowners insurance. Let me pay that, you know. Let me pay for the services that I purchased. She's called FEMA and applied for disaster relief. She's also reached out to the Red Cross, but tells me she hasn't gotten very far. The only thing you can do in a situation like this, as humbling as it is, is wait. I mean, because I can call them and tell them whatever is on my mind, but what is that going to do? You just have to just wait and hope that they understand your situation and help you, you know? Sit. Now she says her four year old son is very confused by all this, why they can't go back to the house. And she says it's been very difficult trying to explain to him because of his age. She says two things have uh, happened out of this situation that have been positive. First, she's found out how great her neighbors are. They've been coming together and trying to help uh, cut limb by limb that tree out of her house. Uh, and she also says that her job was able to give her a full week off, fully paid, so that she could take care of the situation. But right now, she's just waiting for FEMA to come back and hopefully approve her for disaster relief. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.